Good morning. My name is Taylor Denony. I'm Lily Jones. And my name is Jack Schneider. We are consultants from the Business Services of Spokane. How many of you have experienced a time when you've questioned the reliability of the news you're watching? We definitely know we have. If you answered yes as well, you are absolutely not alone. 68% of adults did not fully trust the news they're watching in 2019. In today's modern society, news companies are always trying to convey their stories to as many people as possible through as many means as possible. This method of relaying information can present a tarnished image, and that is something that news agencies cannot afford to have. We have found that the best way to recover from any reputation crisis is to use reasoning and better judgment to regain trust of the company's viewers. Today we are here to explore how different news broadcasting companies can recover from a tarnished image. We believe that we have created a four-stage solution that will be an effective asset to news agencies around our region. Before we can talk about our plan, it is important to understand what exactly a tarnished image is and why they occur. A tarnished image is when a negative event happens, causing the opinion of a company to be substantially decreased. Any event that could poorly influence a company's reputation will result in a tarnished image. Examples of this include the release of false information, lost or stolen company information, the surfacing of accusations, or even poor reviews. Also, before we begin, we'd like to point out that the circumstances around each individual news firm's tarnished image is going to be slightly different and thus require an individualized recovery plan. However, what we have prepared today is a great general outline to use on the path to a full recovery. Our 4A system includes the steps of acknowledgement, analysis, adjustment, and taking action. We'll be going into more depth about each one of these steps in our presentation. Stage one, acknowledge. Acknowledging or accepting the tarnished image is the first step to removing it. By acknowledging that there is a problem, the broadcasting company can begin to take the necessary steps to improve it. Once it is determined that a reputation crisis exists, it is important to identify who is responsible for and what led to the current state. Did someone report false or inaccurate information? Was information reported in an offensive or insensitive way? Did the broadcasting company intentionally damage the reputation of an individual or organization? After the broadcasting company determines that they are indeed experiencing a reputation crisis, they must make a public apology acknowledging their wrongdoing. Delivering an apology shows that they understand the severity of the situation, are remorseful for what has happened, and wish to make things right. Stage 2. Analyze. In this stage, the company's goal should be to analyze and decide the best course of action. To do this, they will need to launch an internal investigation identifying who and how many people were affected by this mistake. First, assemble a team meeting with trained individuals to assess the damage. All members should be identified and briefed before the meeting. Anything discussed should be kept confidential and attempt to prevent the situation from getting worse. The group of offended or misled should already be acknowledged and apologized to. However, the company still should ask themselves, how can they make up for the mistake made? This allows them to begin structuring a recovery plan that targets a specific demographic of people, and it gives everyone a comprehensive view of the current state of the company. When putting together this plan, the company must remember that no matter what they say or do, not everyone will be pleased, but being prepared makes the company appear more in control of the situation. The third phase of our plan is the adjustment phase, and the main goal of the adjustment period is to take what you learned during your investigation make some changes based on what you uncovered. During this phase, the news broadcasting companies need to adjust their policies. This stage gives the company time to restructure any obsolete, misleading, or outdated corporate guidelines. During this time frame, go back and answer the questions that you asked yourself during the acknowledgement phase. For example, if it was determined that a specific person or group of people were directly responsible for the problem, they need to be reprimanded. This is also a great time to revisit the company's morals and mission statement. Staff and personnel should be retrained immediately to these revised morals and goals. The agencies need to realize that a change at the ground level might be necessary in the wake of a reputation crisis. This provides a fresh start after a bad event and gives a sense of a clean slate to the company and its audience. 
Stage four, action. The fourth and final stage of the recovery process is to take action. The first action that should be taken is for the broadcasting firm to create policies to maintain reliability over speed. They should slow down and focus on reliable news. Being the first to publish the news is not as important as giving reliable news that the viewers can trust. It is important that they focus on their core values. Core values are principles that dictate behavior and can help people understand the difference between right and wrong. If broadcasting companies need to revise their core values, they should make it a priority to do so. The news broadcasting firm should implement any changes that were considered necessary after the reevaluation of their moral and mission statement that was done during the third stage. Finally, and most importantly, a broadcasting firm must focus on prevention in order to avoid acquiring a tarnished image again in the future. Every company wants to be successful. It will be challenging for anyone to recover from a tarnished image, but crisis is inevitable when the public perception of a company's values and morals conflict with what the viewers want to see. We understand that recovering from a tarnished image, acknowledging the situation, analyzing what needs to be done, adjusting morals and values, and taking action to fix the problem will be challenging, but it is worth it for the company's reputation. In the end, we believe that properly followed and executed, our 4A system will prove effective not only to news agencies around our region, but even around the country. Remember, recovery will be challenging, but it is possible if you're willing to put in the hard work and effort necessary. Here's our work cited, and thank you for your time.